Mark Rogers, TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the canes. We got Gabby Uridi uh, on the line from uh, State of the U. Catch him and the rest of the crew there. Of course, Cam Underwood, one of my uh, regular guests, and uh, Gabby jumping online, uh, filling in and doing a remarkable job. Love the recruiting breakdown there, Gabby. <laughs> and uh, let's talk next about uh, kind of that next transition, three or four years later, for the best of the best as they uh, set themselves up for the NFL draft. Of course, we saw the combine from Indianapolis several weeks ago. Uh, you had your pro day this past weekend, and and your thoughts in regards to, to what came out of that. Well, the pro day was it, it was today. It's probably going on right now still as we speak. But, um, you know, a lot of like Travis, guys like Travis Homer, uh, our, our running back, had almost 2,000 yards uh, in total throughout his career. Uh, Jaquan Johnson just, an outstanding Miami Hurricane. A leg, a, it'll go down as a legendary Kane, at least in this generation of Canes. He was a guy that was kind of like a foundation of the program, a leader in every sense of the word, just a captain of the defense. It's a guy you hate to lose. Sheldrick Redwine, like, you know, Miami's losing a lot. Gerald Willis, who had a lot of issues in his past, and he kind of revitalized his career when he came to Coral Gables from the University of Florida. Took him a couple years, but he's moving on now. So all those guys came out of perform today. Uh, they just went through basic, you know, kind of like the same stuff that they kind of do in the combine. Travis Homer and Sheldrick Redwine withdrew from the, like they didn't do the 40 yard dash again. They're pretty content with their 40 yard time. I believe Travis Homer ran a 4.48 40 at, in Indianapolis. So he didn't run again. Sheldrick Red, Redwine ran a 4.44 40. So that was fantastic for a guy like him. Um, he didn't run again. I think it was mostly just for guys like Jaquan Johnson. Like I feel like Jaquan Johnson really wanted an opportunity to improve on his 40 time because at the end of his junior year, he was kind of looked at as a guy that could potentially go late first round, maybe early second round. You know, he had a really, really great year for a fantastic Miami Hurricanes defense. And he had another fantastic year again today. Oh, this year, I'm sorry. This past year, he had another fantastic year. This past year, and his 40 time wasn't what he wanted it to be in Indianapolis. So he came back, ran it again in Coral Gables, and he was still high four sevens. So I'm not sure how much it's going to impact his draft status. I was looking at a couple mock drafts before coming on with you, and I didn't see him anywhere in the first three rounds. So Jaquan Johnson probably didn't help himself too much with the high four seven. Uh, Joe Jackson ran, and he was in the four nines, I believe. Our defensive end, Joe Jackson, who's probably going to be the first hurricane drafted. Just a big a physical specimen, the six four, six five, just absolutely shredded guy. Like you watch, you see this guy in person, and it's just like he looks like an NFL player today as what he would be going into his senior year of college. And he just looks like uh, the type of, those type of guys like Alabama turns out, you know, they, they bring out these guys. It's like, who's like, where are these guys coming from? These, these 19, 20, 21 year old kids are just massive human beings. And he's, he very much fits that mold of just a giant man. And, and so I'm sure he helped himself. You know, I feel like the, the scouts see him up close and personal like that. And he's definitely probably going to be in like that mid third round. Someone falls in love with him. He could get taken early third, maybe late second. Uh, Gerald Willis ran today. He was in like the five twos. And so, you know, it's not, he's not, it's not blazing fast, but you know, at least he's, he's not like a turtle out there. You know, he's shown his explosiveness. He's shown who he can be on the football field. And, you know, it's just like some of that. The one guy, one guy who I really want to talk to you about today is Treyon Gray. Uh, he goes by chalk in the Hurricane family and just between the team. He didn't play very much in Miami. He was kind of like a fullback in Mark Rick's offense, but he came out today at, he's about, he's a big guy. I would say like 6'1", 6'2", 235 pounds of like pure muscle. Like this is another big guy. He comes out, he was a 4'3", today. And that just absolutely blew everybody's mind. Something that no one really expected just because we didn't really see him play that much. You would think oh, it's a guy of his height, his strength, his speed, he would have definitely been a bigger part of Miami's offense, which just kind of raises more question marks of, of just Rick's tenure here. If you have an athlete with those physical capabilities in your offense, why haven't we seen more of him? Like, well, he was lined up as a fullback for third and one, fourth and one. You know, you really just want to get that, that extra yard, and that was kind of his role in the offense. So interesting to see how he ran so fast, and it's great for him, hopefully – Maybe he might, may not probably won't get drafted just because there's really no film on him. Hopefully he gets a uh, undrafted free agent opportunity somewhere, makes the most of it, makes lands on a practice squad, and you know you never know what happens. These Miami guys find a way to stick around in the NFL, so we'll see. I mean, it was a great day for him, probably the best he could have asked for.
personally from his standpoint. I have definitely enjoyed uh, taking in the insight and uh, information from Gabby Yerudia. You can join him on State of the U with Cam Underwood and the rest of the crew there for the best in Miami athletics coverage on SB Nation. Gabby, we appreciate you stopping by. Thanks so much. Absolutely. No, it's a pleasure. I hope I come on again and talk one day. Thank you, Mark.